Hey there guys, Gordon here. In this video today I'm going to show you guys um, the sub panel. I'm going to start putting the sub panel in for the solar system. Solar panels ordered, should be here in like four days. Um, hey, never mind the mess behind me. Kids are moving by a new house. Uh, so they're storing some stuff here while they're on the move. Anyway, um, so this video I'm going to show you is basically um, me installing, installing the new solar panel um, of all the stuff that will be in uh, being fed by the solar system. Um, I, I can't say this enough, guys. This is one of the most dangerous things you can do. So don't do as I do. Um, hire a professional unless you know exactly what you're doing here. This is very, very dangerous. I am not a licensed electrician. Do not copy what I'm doing. Um, it's for educational purposes. No, 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 no. This is for entertainment purposes. Do not do as I do. Very, very dangerous. Um, like, could kill you dangerous. So, be very careful. This is a hot panel. Um, mini panels, you can't shut off. You know, there's no main breaker. So, panels can be hot. Um, be very, very careful. If there's a breaker to shut off the main panel, shut it off before you do any work in it. Anyway, guys, um, take, it, go ahead, take a look. Thanks for watching, and uh, go ahead and... Uh, Hit the like button if you like it. Um, thanks. Hey there, guys. Um, so we're finally getting our sub panel in. Now, I'll let you guys remember, I am not an electrician. Do not do as I do. This is all for uh, entertainment purposes. But this is um, the beginning. Uh, well, it's not the beginning. It's our <laughs> into our steps of of our solar system. I got our sub panel in. I had to raise it up above the other one, which I did not want to do, but I had to raise it up to get, I had lines that were way over here. They weren't long enough to get completely in that, in that panel. So I had to lift it up. I can't lift that one on the right up because those mains are going right in the back of the meter outside. So one thing, remember guys, when you're working with this, this is one of the most dangerous things you could ever do. This is all hot. Those bars, those are hot. Okay, I can flip that breaker off and kill this to here, but those are still hot. I can't turn those off unless I pull the meter outside, pull the, you know, the, the meter off, the, the commercial meter. So basically on this side, what I have left here is I have my hot tub. Um, this lead right here is temped in, going in and feeding the sub panel. These will eventually actually go over here to where my inverter is going to go. So the inverter will come in and feed this. So these lines will actually come out and go into the inverter. And then I'll come out of this breaker with another wire down across the bottom and up into the input of the inverter. It's a hybrid inverter. It's an 18,000 watt inverter from Sun Gold Power. We're waiting on that. should be here Monday. So anyway, this is all my um, solar load. I think I might add my water heater into it. Like I said, it's 18,000 watts, so it can handle my water heater during the day. We have um, 17,000 watts of solar coming. Um, 32, um, 550 watt um, panels. So anyway, I have all of our, pretty much all of our um, lights and outlets in the house over here, um, plus my well right here and I have the surge protector there 125 amp breaker here this is four ot wire feeding from this panel to that panel um, and then also like actually it'll all be four ot wire between the two three um, pieces of equipment um, like I said this is pulling wires out of this unless you know what you're doing do not do this because it is truly one of the most dangerous things you can ever do you know, because you're going to get in here, you're going to pop this, that breaker off, and then you take the breaker out, and then you can undo the, the black load wire, which is all good. Then you can reach in, you know, find the, the, the neutral, undo it, pull it out. Now, those two aren't that bad because they're insulated. But that bare copper wire, when you go up here, can you remember this, it was, you know, all the stuff was, it was in this panel, so it was very full. I mean, it was a full panel. So when you're pulling on these bare copper wires like those back there you gotta make damn sure when you undo those down here that they don't come in contact with those two hot lugs or if you don't turn that off and god you should always turn that off if you're doing anything in this panel 
But if you didn't turn that off, it, if you pulled one of those out and it went over and it touched one of these legs, it'd kill you. Or it'd give you a good zapping anyway. So anyway, what I got left in here is my hot tub. This will be for the generator, um, transfer switch. Um, can't remember what that one's for. Then my uh, my range. Um, this is my water heater. And then um, attic fan, I think. Or the dishwasher. Um, outlets in the garage. Outlets outside. And then over here, these three are all um, cadet heaters that are in the house. I think I'm going to pull one of those off and move it over. Um, I think, I'm not sure. You know, here I have one cadet heater that's in our office. So if we lose power, we can actually have um, one room that we can heat up during the day when the sun's out. And then that's the other one that goes out towards the shop. Anyway, um, that's it, guys, so far. Um, solar, shortly to come. Getting a new roof uh, in about two weeks, and then we'll put the panels up. But everything's supposed to get delivered um, in uh, four days. Hey guys, thanks for watching that part of the video. This next part is about um, amp um, testing. You can take an amp meter, a clamp on amp meter, and, and reading your circuits in your panel to see just how many amps each appliance might be using. I'm going to show you how to do that in this, in this next video. Um, thanks for watching again. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. I always use subscribers. Um, thanks guys. All right, so right now I'm checking amperage on what my circuits actually take before I get ready to see what I'm going to switch over to the solar. Right now I'm looking at my well. It's a two, uh, 240 well right now with the water run inside. It is pulling six amps off of that line and six and a point four amps off of that. So that's basically a 13 amp. It's a 30 amp breaker, but it's a, it's pulling 13 amps when it's running. Um, I did a little test on this shot vac over here. That thing pulls 10 amps. I couldn't believe it. 10 amps. Anyway, so um, that's how I'm testing a little uh, $50 tester that I got. One thing when you do this, you got to know that you can only do one, one lead at a time. You can't do like hook onto this cable and read this on this light because the neutrals canceling out the alternating current. Anyway, so I have it on AC. AC and uh, 40... Like I said, with the water running, 6.3 uh, amps on that side of the 240. So on that side is the other 2 point, or 6.3. So basically 13 amps. Kind of cool. Hey guys. Um, so I got done reading our, our panel in there with our new little meter. A little, little clamp uh, meter goes around the goes around the individual conductors so you can read how many amps everything's taken. And so I went through our panel and I found, you know, all the numbers I was kind of looking for. The dryer is 50 amps when it's running. The hot tub, surprisingly, was only 26 amps with it running completely, everything going, the heater going, and both both pumps pumping. Um, that wasn't, so that was kind of a, a delightful, hey, that's not bad. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the dryer was 50 amps. Um, oh, here's, here's a good one for you. I don't know what kind of stupid electrician got his license. Our house has electric cadet heaters in every room because it's 20 years old. And that's how it was built back then. Um, they put one, two, three, four, five cadet heaters on one circuit and one 12 gauge wire leaving here. So I'm going to have to, definitely going to have to rebuild that. I think, well, it's actually, it's worked for 20 years. None of these are ever on at the same time, but still, that's way too much to put on a 20 amp circuit. I mean, bedroom number one was 60, or is I'm not 60, is <laughs> six amps when that heater's running. That's all thing on is the heaters. But bedroom number one, six amps. Bedroom number two, eight amps. Bedroom or a bathroom um, number one, six amps. Bathroom number two, six amps. And then the master bathroom or master bedroom, 16 amps. So it's like that's quite a bit of that's quite a bit of wattage and amperage for. A 20 amp circuit it's never blown but still it's that's i think i'm gonna have to do a little bit of rework in there um another one is our well our water well 240 water well um is only 13 amps so that's good that can be ran on it um the two cadet heaters that we have in the living room that are on one breaker 28 amps they're the full size 
I guess, 2,500 watt each. Well, they're 20, 28 amps. Um, the pellet stove, hardly nothing. The TV, <laughs> here you go, gentlemen. The TV, 2 amps. With the surround sound going, the TV going, the Roku going. And actually the camera DVR and the Control 4 main controller for the home automation, 2 amps. And it's a 70 inch TV, high def TV. Um, one one that woke me up is this range, the range, the oven, it's gas, or not, not a gas, I like to have gas, but it's electric. Um, with one burner, one big burner burning, it was 17 amps. With one small burner going, it was 13 amps. With the oven on at 450 by itself, it was 22 amps. All the burners on the top going, all four of them, 70 amps. That's a lot of power, especially because it's a 50 amp breaker. Um, yeah, 70 amps, that was like, I think that, that range might be on the chopping block. That's a lot, that's a, that's a lot of power. So I'm thinking that's probably going to have to stay on commercial power. <laughs> anyway, guys, just a rundown of that of that tool we got, that, that meter. That's a good meter for 50 bucks or 48 bucks, whatever I paid for it. Good little meter. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Okay, guys, I want to show you this meter. It is um, clamp style. It does work really well. You just, when you use the, the clamp, the ring, you can only do one you gotta remember this you can only do one conductor because if you hook up to the you know you try to hook around the, you know the Romex it ain't gonna work because the neutral they're gonna cancel each other out so you got to look at just the hot side clamp the hot side in the panel and you'll get an actual good reading on these it's actually a really good little meter I was kind of surprised I was thinking when I opened it it's like yeah we'll see we'll see but it's got a little bit of weight to it and it you know it, it pretty good little meter it um Got a nice little display. It has light in it. it. Actually, has a light up in the top also. So if you're in a dark panel, you want to look in there. It's got a light on it. But yeah, it's a nice little meter. Anyway, Amazon like 50 bucks, I think. It is a. Take is this thing? It's a Astro AI 4000 something or other. I don't know. Anyway, have a good one.